had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water. You sure? Yeah. She said she was going to rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with boiling water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where... Hold up. Was Sonia Massey's murder really planned by a group of white supremacists? And is the officer who killed her really going to be released from jail? Child, so it looks like Sonia's murder case actually goes way deeper than we thought because her family just came out to spill the tea about what really happened to her. And this whole thing is actually a lot more sinister than any of us could have ever imagined. What's even crazier is that the officer who brutally snatched her life from her, Sean Grayson, had his body cam turned off because that man knew what he was about to do when he got into her house and he didn't want it to be caught on camera. Fortunately, his partner had his body cam on and that's how we have the details about what really happened in that night. If it was up to Sean, he would have actually lied about what happened on top of Sonya's death, and it would have been one of many racially motivated deaths without justice. On top of all of this, it also turns out that Sean had two DUI convictions and has worked for six different police departments in the very short time he's been an officer. With a record like this, that man had no business still being a cop. Unfortunately, it took Sonya's death for people to finally take him out of that position. Child, it's a lot we gotta get into here and I'm gonna break it down for y'all. So for those of y'all who don't know what the hell is going on, this entire mess went down just a few days ago when a disturbing body cam footage leaked of a racist police officer shooting an innocent woman, Sonia Massey, in the face after she cried for help because she suspected that there was an intruder in her home. It's still really unclear whether there was an actual intruder in her home or not because her daughter later confirmed that Sonia suffers from paranoid schizophrenia, which means she probably thought there was an intruder even if there actually wasn't. But either way, she did what any right person would have done, which is to call the police for them to come and check it out. And from the minute the cops got there, they was acting weird. By the time they left, Sonya was dead with a bullet to the face. Sonya's neighbor, Cheryl Evans, told The Guardian that when police arrived, they began looking into Massey's home with flashlights. She wondered why the police hadn't knocked on her door, as they've done in the past when they're searching for suspects. Eventually, Sean and his partner entered the home where they began speaking to Sonya. Even from this alone, the officers was acting weird, because why didn't they just knock instead of flashing the lights in the house, terrifying Sonya even more? It literally doesn't make any sense. But that was just the start of it, because once they entered her house, everything escalated into something else. In the body cam footage that was leaked, Sean and his partner can be seen interrogating her and trying to understand why she thought there was an intruder in her house. Now, somewhere along the line, Sean saw a pot of boiling water on the stove and asked Sonya to turn it off, which she immediately walked over to the stove to do. While she was on her way to turn it off, Sean got to yelling at her, talking about where you going, away from your hot steaming water, to which Sonia jokingly replied, away from the hot steaming water, oh, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Immediately when she said this, Sean pulled out his gun and started screaming in her face, you better effing not, I swear to God, I'll effing sh you right in your effing face. Sonia quickly realized that joke didn't land well and started apologizing profusely. She even dropped the pot and knelt to her knees saying, I'm sorry. But before she could even say it for a third time, Sean pulled the trigger, striking her with the below the eye that exited from the back of her neck. Okay, 
But the blatant racism and complete disregard from Sean for Sonya's life didn't end there, unfortunately. She actually survived the sh and was gasping for air, but when Sean's partner told him to go get the medical kit so that they could reduce the bleeding till the ambulance came, Sean refused. And he kept questioning as to why his partner was trying to save her life, even when she had a in the head. He can be heard on camera footage saying, that's a head she's done. Bring emails now, we got a head wounded female. Head wounded female, 1078. I was on, I was on. I'm gonna go get my kit. No, you done. You can go get it, but that's a head. <clears throat> on top of all that, he got to lie and clean out of his mouth that he shot her because she was gonna pour the water on his face. Now y'all saw that footage, and that is not what happened. That's just a bold-faced lie that Sean pulled from his behind to justify my somebody for nothing. He said, what else can we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the effing face. Yeah, I'm not taking boiling water to the head. Hey, look, it came right to our feet too. God damn it. When the paramedics arrived, one of the officers asked him what happened, and once again, Sean stood there and lied, claiming that Sonya came at him with a pot of boiling water. Yeah. No, she had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water. Are you sure? Yeah. She said she was going to rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with boiling water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where she's landed. <clears throat> what do you need for a moment? Just nothing right now. Just hang out out there for me. Thank you. He also had the nerve to seemingly brag about what he just did to the other officers. When one of them asked if he was okay, he said he was good and even tried to pass the whole thing off like he was some hero who took down a violent person. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm good. It's crazy. <clears throat> After the entire incident, the police went through the footage once again and realized that Sean simply murdered Sonia because he wanted to. She never threatened that man with a pot of water like he claimed. In fact, the only reason she even went close to the stove was because he told her to turn it off. And even if he did feel threatened by the water, he could have easily shot her in the hand or the leg to disarm her or simply stepped back. But no, that man had to her over a pot of hot water, which wasn't even close to him to begin with. Now, he's since been arrested and charged with three counts of first degree murder and is being held without bond until his trial is set to begin. This whole story went so viral that even Biden released a statement condemning Sean and demanding for him to be punished. He said, Sonya's death at the hands of a responding officer reminds us that all too often, black Americans face fears for their safety in ways that many of the rest of us do not. Sonya's family deserves justice. I'm heartbroken for her children and her entire family as they face this unthinkable and senseless loss. I commend the swift actions that were taken by the Springfield State's Attorney's Office. While we wait for the case to be prosecuted, let us pray to comfort the grieving. Congress must pass the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act now. Our fundamental commitment to justice is at stake. And in a recent interview with Gail King, Sonia's father revealed that the cops initially told the entire family that there was an intruder in the house when they pulled up, and that the intruder was the one who Sonia. He said they didn't even know the officer was responsible until the footage leaked online. Can y'all believe this? These people was trying to cover up the whole thing and blame it on a non-existent intruder. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, after he shot her, he stood there still holding his her as if she would be able to do anything back to him. Absolutely disgusting. Another person said, if he got scared by the hot water, why approach her? Just step back. No Ask her to put it down, bring up the taser, warn her. This should have gone in so many different ways, not like this. Rest in peace to Sonya Massey and hopes for quick and swift justice. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Sonya being for absolutely nothing. And do y'all believe that Sean would have gotten away with it if his partner's body cam wasn't on? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.